Hi Stuart, how has the build up and practice been this week for the Scottish Open? Yeah, it's been good. Um, I drove up Monday afternoon from Wales, um, got you Monday night, played an early practice round on Tuesday morning. Obviously it was a little bit wet, but as you can see, um, the sun's come out finally. I think we're in for a good week. Uh, the course is in superb condition, really like it, so uh, I'm looking forward to it actually, yeah. What are your ambitions for this week, Stuart? Um, ambitions this week, my game's in pretty good shape. Um, I'd like to get into contention, come the back nine on Sunday, that'd be great. I think um, if I could then maybe sneak an open spot and then, fingers crossed, you know, try and contend for the tournament, um, it would be great. Um, such a great, great event up here in Scotland, uh, massive crowd, so uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a great week. Knowing that there are three available open spots this week, Stuart, does that add any more pressure to the week? Um, I, I don't think so. Obviously, there's a lot of pressure trying to get into the open, but it's just another another regular week. It's a massive event. I think if you concentrate on the tournament, concentrate on having a good result, uh, I think the open spot will take care of itself. So I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just trying to play my game, I'm trying to finish as high as I possibly can, and we'll see what happens at the end of the week. It is a big week and obviously we know the Open is next week. It brings one of the strongest fields of the year to Europe, a lot of Americans. Is there anyone in particular you would like to be paired with? It is a huge week. It's one of our biggest events on the European Tour. Um, the world ranking points are huge, the prize money, it's a Rolex series. Uh, several Americans are over, which always adds a little bit of extra flavour to the tournament. I think if you got drawn with Ricky Fowler, maybe Cooch, um, one of those big guys would be great. On the other hand as well, if you're drawn with Rory or top European players, that would be fantastic as well. So, uh, like I said, just try and get into contention and then I think you'll get a big name regardless then. Obviously playing at the home of golf here in Scotland, Stuart, what would it mean to lift the trophy here on Sunday evening? Wow, it'd be massive. Um, it's such a pre prestigious event in Scotland, uh, one of our biggest on the European Tour. Uh, the world ranking points, it's a Rolex event, uh, the exemptions which come with it. And, It'd be massive, not only that, the crowds are huge, they're very knowledgeable. Um, it, it would be a dream come true. Can you, if you can, Stuart, sure, pick out one career highlight for us, please? Um, it's been a couple as an amateur, maybe holding the winning putts for the World Cup in 2003 at Ganton. After that, as a pro, I'd say my chip in on the 72nd hole in Hong Kong to get into a playoff against um, Jimenez, that was great. Uh, there was a couple of other run-up spots I've had, one in South Africa. But um, yeah, I'd say the one in Hong Kong was my highlight. Nordan sponsor a few young professionals. If you had any advice for them, Stuart, what would it be? Yeah, uh, I think they're supporting some really good talent, youngsters. Um, advice for them? It's like, like you see on the range here, everybody's working extremely hard. Um, the more you put in, obviously, the more you get out of the game. Um, I think there's always somebody practicing harder. That, that's in the back of my head. I feel, I feel guilty sometimes when I'm not doing 12 hours a day, but I think that you just got to practice, practice, and practice. Um, and then hopefully the results will come and they'll have great careers. And uh, I'm sure with the help of Nordan, they'll be fine.